many of us are here to deepen our ability to be fully present, to be in that stream of that profound, simple, yet elusive condition of awareness that results from mindfulness. It's unique for Silicon Valley to bring into our midst a Buddhist monk. This great teacher agreed to come in part because of who we are. Thich Nhat Hanh knows our ethos and he knows it could be renewed by mindfulness. Our Harvard team, Department of Nutrition, have been working with Olivia Wu to try and give Google the best science-based information on healthy eating. But Olivia said we need to have mindful eating and mindful living concept on Google campuses so that we can help all employees optimize their life. So I just told her that incidentally, I wrote this book with Zen Master Thich Nhat Hanh called Savor Mindful Eating, Mindful Life. And Olivia said, can you get Master Thich Nhat Hanh? And he said, I'm afraid I cannot come unless Google will allow me to have a half day of mindfulness with them. When we want to make the other person happy, we want to give him or her something. We might um, cook something good and give to him or to her. But the most uh, precious thing you can give him or her is not something you can buy from the market. It's your true presence. We have so much worries and fear and anger. We are not happy. And that is why the practice is to bring more space into our heart and around us. A person cannot be a happy person unless she has some freedom, some space in, in herself or around her. So to love means to offer space. And if you do not have space in you, how can you offer your beloved one with space? Or you might like to practice walking, meditation, mindful walking. Why breathing in, you make one step. And you become aware of the step you make. You are touching life in the present moment with your foot. The first few minutes, you can see the outcome right away. Breathing in, if you pay attention only to your in-breath, and then you can release, and the past, and the future, and all your projects. And you don't have to go to a temple in order to practice mindfulness. Walking from the parking lot to your office, you might enjoy mindful walking. You might enjoy every step. We'll end the day having a mindful dinner. It will be a silent meal, most likely not what Googlers are used to. And there is no gadgets with you. Mindful eating is about you truly eating to nourish themselves and to truly savor your food. It is so important for Google to take care of their employee this way getting to the root of the stress problem because, after all, you are a company that the world watches.